And thank you. Thank you for all the people that came. There's a lot of people here and I feel really proud and happy for being with you a little bit of my time and to answer all your questions. Uh -huh. Okay, our question is, what have <laughs> you start. done so far? Okay. okay. Let's start with that. What have you done so far? Was there any cultural shocks to you upon landing in the Philippines or something that pleasantly surprised you? Well, yes. What surprised me the most is that we have a lot of words in common like you could understand us yeah, but there are weird name like weird words that we have like in common that ventana uh -huh. guapo guapa cuchara uh -huh. eh, um, what is that la mesa. la mesa um what else what is what is guapo hermoso uh -huh. So I was like, trabajo, mm, trabajo. <laughs> novio, novio, oh, how's your novio, how's, how's your novio, it's good, it's good, everything is good, where is he, he's in Venezuela, Ooh. yeah, my country, wait, how is it, how's everything now in Venezuela, it's really good, it's really good, it's thank God, it's getting every time better and stronger, how, okay. you should go, yeah. look, Stephen, went on December, my director, Steven Diaz, uh -huh. and he was so happy, he ate all the pequeños, that it's uh, like a plate we have, a traditional plate, traditional food, and he just got in love of Venezuela, so all of you should come. That's You're invited. Nice. Wow. Welcome to Venezuela. What, what's your what's your agenda here in the Philippines right now and what where are we going to see you? Well, my schedule yesterday was going on Operation Smile. We talk about all the problems with cleft palate kids and it's really cool because you have working with this organization with Bini Bini in Philippines for a while and was an honor to be there. Then we went to party carnival and I thought it was like a dance because for me carnival it was like, you know, yeah, yeah. Woo, music, here, exactly. Yes. So I was like, what is going on? But it was such a joy. We also do a storytelling with the kids and I got the opportunity to meet all the Bini Bini Philippines content. So they are beautiful. You have a hard work this year. Uh -huh. It's up to you. Wait, so, you know, how do you feel that it's still so hot here, like pageantry is still so hot in this side of the world, and we're keeping it alive here in the Philippines? Yes, I see. Well, that's something we also have in common. In Venezuela, we love beauty pageants. I think we're fighting who, which we, who is the most um, that have like won crowns? Yes. in the story because i think you have like six miss international and we're nine yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's we'll about the, you're nine yeah wow what did yeah. you tell the other are you friends with the other miss international yes we have a whatsapp chat oh group. so yeah. Ky is kylie there lara yeah, all of them wow what do you talk about in your group chat oh i'm not gonna tell you you have to be in the group <laughs> no, have to be that's hard <laughs> From Venezuela. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, so really, uh, I mean, seriously, what do beauty queens talk about? No, we talk about a lot of stuff. We also are um, beauty queens lovers. So uh, we talk about uh, Miss Venezuela, the content, the girls, which one is your favorite, which mm -hmm. one is not. And we support each other. So it's really good. To, it, it feels powerful to be in that group be mm -hmm. part of the history of Miss International mm -hmm. but no really it's it's really nice and not also for chat I've known a lot of them in person Daniela Di Giacomo eh, Nina Cecilia that was part of my organization um, Edimar Martinez mm -hmm. Marian Velasco mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they're really nice they are empowered women and I'm proud to be their friend Wow, and we're loving your Filipiniana look. Oh, thank can you. you. Can you uh, turn around the yes, camera? Yes, of course. To show your Filipiniana. Ooh, rep it. Love it. It's beautiful. I thank was so you. happy. Oh, did, did you really say that you wanted to wear uh, 
yeah. costume from the Philippines. Indeed, I wanted to do some um, like one outfit in Colombia that have this course, type, but no, it's not the same. Oh. <laughs> it was not the same, so I didn't make it because it was like no, it, it might be weird. How how do you feel in you know in your Filipina? It's beautiful. I feel empowered. I I think like I'm I'm like Nicole Borromeo, the girl that was with me in Miss International. <laughs> I feel like her. Empowered. Oh, yeah. beautiful! It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Is this your first time to visit Manila? It's my first time in Manila. Yes. Mm -hmm. How many days will you stay here in the Philippines? I'll be staying until Monday, Monday. at night. So that day I'm gonna be free. If you invite me to do something, that would be really nice. <laughs> Are you going to the islands? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about Boracay? Boracay or Palawan? Palawan. What, the beaches no? here. No, the beaches the here are insane. Wait, okay. I thought you were, you're, you're also active in social media, right? Yeah. You have to look. It's always trending. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Search for Take me. You should invite me. <laughs> Again, I'm willing to do the trip no, no matter what. 25 hours, I'll do it. Oh, no wow. worry. How was your flight going here? How long? It was like 23 hours. Oh, if you wow. like wow. add it up. Yeah. Oh, it's, my gosh. But it was good. I really like traveling. It's like me time. No one is like giving me messages. Oh yeah. And chats. I'm like no one. No. I'm sure Miss International free. is really is really something so uh, you know consuming when it comes to your when it comes to your schedule. So uh, how do you distress? Um, I love watching series actually. Netflix, eating while I'm watching Netflix, um, making time f with my family. I went to Orlando. Oh, they're there. Yeah, uh, the roller coasters, oh, Disneyland yeah. in Orlando. Uh, well, I love Your family is based there? No, we were on vacation. Oh, okay, you went there so for vacation. So it was really good. That's how I get my stress off of my body. But I'm not that as stressful as people think I'm relaxed <laughs> I really like what I do oh. so uh, I don't get like too stressful what are your goals as Miss International well my goals are to travel a lot to keep this legacy because for me uh, one of the most traditional beauty pageants in the world is Miss International and it's an honor to be part of them actually it's an honor that i'll get to go to tokyo again because i really love japan yeah. but Who does it? yeah <laughs> but last year i didn't have the opportunity to do so many things because i was in the concentration i was really focused and then i went home but this time i want to stay a little bit longer so if you have any recommendations on doing something in Japan, just let me know. I want to go to Nintendo World, to Nigata. Mm. So I have to do a lot of things in my bucket list. But for you, what I'll is a, what is a beauty queen of this day and age? That Gen Z is there, social media is there. A lot of people are tuning out to to traditional types yeah. of pageantry. Yeah. Uh, how do you keep it relevant? Well, I think to keep it relevant, you have to be. Um, really constant in social media yeah i think girls need to also be part of that because life and word is evolving so you have to evolve with it and part of social media being uh part of uh, different organizations be doing tambien, tambien. it's Sorry. okay we understand tambien. <laughs> oh really as well yeah yeah. <laughs> Stephen is always listening at me and he understands everything and I thought he didn't. So well to be like a big beauty queen these days you have to get some personality, speak for your own and have really like strained soul. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but you have to be a strong woman to be part of everything that has to come to be in a public figure these days. So big personality, big heart, and a big soul. Andrea is speaking of traditional. Uh, maybe your comments or thoughts about uh, beauty enhancement in beauty badge. What? What? Sorry? Beauty, beauty enhancement. enhancement. Surgeries. Mm. Surgery. Botox. Oh. Fillers. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm up to all that. I, I do use Botox. I think the balance and it's 
it's good if you feel comfortable on doing the surgery if you want to do it for you for yourself just go ahead and do it and if you don't want to then don't do it it's your body and i think you have the right to decide what to do gen z queen gen z queen, gen z queen. Uh, gen z queen. Uh, yes so Yes, so adobo is my top. Wow. Adobo, chicken adobo is in my top list. I mean, love it. Then the soup. Sinigang. Mm. Sorry, there are so Kansi. many words new for me. Kansi, Kansi. soup. Oh, Kansi soup from Negro. Yes. Negro. Negro. <laughs> it was like, oh. These ingredients, you have to look for them mm. in negro. So I was like super privileged to taste right. that uh, soup. Yeah, legit soup. Yeah, 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 it's like, whoa. And just since you've been traveling, it, it seems that you're really trying the cultures of different countries. You're wearing Filipiniana, trying the different foods. Yeah. How important is it for you, know, being this international, to learn about the other cultures of different countries or wherever you visit? It's everything. I think that's the most valuable thing about this experience, that you have the opportunity to travel, that you have the opportunity to meet important people and people from all over the world, that that's the most valuable thing that you take home. Those experience, like I went there, I found out that Filipinos say waffles. I found out all of the things about Filipinos that we have so much in common. That's the more valuable thing because no one can, like, aff no, not everyone can afford that, you know? Not everyone have the opportunity to have a voice, to have a lot of cameras, and to spread messages. So, I would definitely say that's the most important part of the experience, yes. Well, why did you say you felt empowered in the Filipino? What do you like? Oh, because it's beautiful. Look at this design. I mean, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Mm. It's so elegant. Love it, love it, love it. I'll keep this. 